Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Lee from Your Vet Online and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you all about tick prevention products. As a vet, one of the saddest and most distressing experiences of my career has been seeing healthy dogs and cats that have been afflicted by the paralysis tick struggling to breathe. I also have really struggled with many owners who are having to choose to end their pet's life because they can't afford treatment and it's just so heartbreaking. That's why I want to help you all to choose the best products to use to prevent this paralysis tick so you never have to go through this experience. It can be pretty confusing trying to choose a product so listen up because I'm going to go through each one. I've also put together a little freebie PDF for you to download and I'll contain the link below and that has a nice Everything's in a nice little table, so you don't need to frantically write any of this down. Just quickly, I want to explain where you find paralysis tick and how to identify it. If you're in the US, the tick is mostly in the Pacific Northwest, the Rocky Mountain states, and the eastern part of the country. If you're in Australia, it's found along the eastern seaboard from far north Queensland, and it's actually getting into Victoria around the coastal areas now. What happens is that these ticks latch on into an animal and inject a toxin into that animal's bloodstream as it's feeding. And this paralysis tick toxin causes paralysis of all the muscles and they can result in death if emergency treatment with antiserum isn't given. Just quickly, before I go on to talk about the preventatives, I also just want to quickly explain how to identify a paralysis tick so that you can take appropriate action if you actually find one. Okay, the easiest way to distinguish a paralysis tick from a bush tick is if you look at the color of its body and legs. So take a look at this picture here and you'll see that the body is a pale whitish gray, but that can actually go into sort of more of a blue gray color once they're fully engorged. They have eight legs. Now if you look at this picture, we can see that the first and the third pair of legs are more of a brown color and the pair in the middle are a paler white. The head is brown, sort of orange, and the mouth parts are also a whitish color. I hope that helps you to identify one. It's always really important to know what they look like because the treatments are so different. So if you do pull off a tick, if you, you know, you find one on your pet, make sure you Put it in a little jar or an envelope and take that with you to the vet if you go to the vet or if you're using a telemedicine service have it available so that the vet can actually help you identify it that's a good little trick as well because it might save you some money on an anti-serum all right then let's get on to preventatives first you need to consider your lifestyle and what you do with your animals if you're taking your dog swimming a lot or you bathe do your dog or cat frequently, then really you need to consider a chew tablet rather than a collar or a spot on. Although of course you can take a collar off, but don't forget to put it back on. And of course, all spot on products will tell you that swimming is okay, but yeah, where there's an option that is better, why not choose it? <laughs> Another aspect to consider is whether you need a combination product that includes an active that targets intestinal worms and or heartworm. These products often need to be given much more frequently than the flea tick aspect of that product. So if you're a bit like me and inclined to forget a treatment, it may be better to stick to a heartworm injection and focus more on the tick part of the product for these, this sort of situation. Okay, let's have a little look-see at some of the products and what do we have? Okay, so Saparica is the first product I was gonna to talk to you about. This is just for dogs and it's a chew. Now it covers uh, flea and tick for five weeks and that's what's on the label for that and intestinal worms for one month and heartworm for one month. However, 
um, it does not cover tapeworms. So when we've got a product like this that has a different timing for um, effectiveness against different parasites, we always go to the lowest one. So this is a monthly chew. It's a great option um, and works really, really well. Now for uh, puppies, your puppies will have to be eight weeks old and they need to be a minimum of 1.3 kgs before they can have one of these, but great option. Okay, the next option we have is Soresto. This is actually a collar and we have got a cat option and a dog option. Basically, they are actually a little bit different too. So please, if you're using this for your dogs and your cats, don't get confused. So the cat one, it covers fleas and ticks for eight months. However, the dog one only covers ticks up until four months. So please just remember that even though it can kill fleas up until eight months, the tick aspect of it is only four months. Now the beauty of having a collar is that if you have a pet that either gets a sore tummy when they have a chew or perhaps they are not great with um, top spot, you know, on the back of their neck, um, then this is a great option because if they do get a little bit of reaction, you can just take it off. So yeah, great option. Um, kittens, they can have these from 10 weeks and puppies from eight weeks old. Great option for everybody. Okay, the Brevecto Spot On for dogs. This has a claim for fleas and ticks for six months. Um, I do want to make you a little bit aware that for the tick, we have been seeing some cases of tick paralysis after the four month stage. So around that five and six month stage, we are seeing a breakdown. Is this because people were giving it to their dogs and they're swimming with them? Maybe they're bathing them frequently. It's not known yet whether that's the cause or whether it possibly is a resistance issue. So many vets are recommending that we give this every four months for your dogs. Great product though. Brevecto Plus for cats. Now this product is a good one because it covers fleas for three months, ticks for 10 weeks, and also covers your um, heartworm and your worms. So, but the thing with this, just like everything, once you get um, a combination product like this, you've got to think what you're most at risk of. And in this situation, if you've got a cat that's out, out and about, you really want to be giving this, um, you know, covering it for the heartworm disease, which is every two months. So you need to be giving this product every two months for your cat, even though um, ticks are you know, prevalent, you're going to need to, so is heartworm, so you're going to need to give it every two months. That's the problem when you've got these combination products is trying to pick how often you need to actually give it. So we recommend giving this one every two months. It's a spot on on the back of the neck and this one's just for cats. Okay, we've got next card Spectra. Now again, this is another combination product which covers fleas, ticks, intestinal worms and heartworm, but not tapeworms. So just remember that one, you still need to give your dog a wormer for tapeworms. This covers the fleas and ticks for, and it, well everything for one month. So it's a monthly chew, really simple, covers everything. Yeah, not a great product. Next card is Fleas and ticks, again, for one month protection, but it doesn't contain the extras. So you still need to give a heartworm protection product and a, um, a wormer. This is a good option if you are thinking that you would like the extra protection of for heartworm. So you're giving a yearly injection for your heartworm, and then you do this one to um, just make sure that they're covered for their fleas and their ticks. Nice and handy. Now Cridello is a product that is just for fleas and ticks. Again, it's a one month um, chew. And basically what we've seen in Australia at least is they are com combining it with Interceptor. And what this does is makes it um, a good product because it covers intestinal worms, including tapeworm, and heartworm. So it covers what we call the big five. And you may actually see it 
in the big five packaging so that's where it gets its name but it's actually two products so um, it's the Credello and the Interceptor. Vantix is an older product and it gets it covers you for fleas for up for a month but only ticks for two weeks so please if you're using this product beware that you are not going to get tick protection for very long so it is a little bit tricky this one and i'd just be a little bit careful using it especially if you're in a tick prone area the other um, thing we've got to remember with this product is that it contains permethrin and as many of you will know <laughs> permethrin is really toxic to cats and so if you've got a cat that loves to groom your dog which you know some people might think that's outrageous but I know a lot of cats that groom dogs um, then you do not want to be using this product and you do not want to be using permethrins or pyrethrins anywhere near um, your dogs or any other animal if you've got cats in that vicinity because it is um, dangerous for them. Okay a cat product that is a great one that covers everything again except for tapeworm is our Revolution Plus. It kills fleas, ticks, intestinal worms and ear mites and again heartworms. So it's a great option it's a spot on, so on the back of the neck, nice and easy for your cat, and it works well, and it's a monthly treatment. All right then, everyone. Um, we've covered off the products that we commonly use here. Um, I am in Australia, so these are mostly Australian products. Um, but what we'll also do, if you want to take a look at how we actually cover um, doing a tick search, make sure you check out our video on tick searches. I'll make the link down below, as well as putting one um, up the top. You can see that probably coming through now. We've also got a video that discusses some of the myths and misconceptions around these products so make sure you check that one out too I've got another video for that all right then if you enjoyed this video make sure you give us a thumbs up subscribe tell all your friends all your friends about us and we'll catch you next time